Hi, it's Emily. Thank you so much for clicking this video. So for today's video, I did something a little bit different and I ended up creating this rainbow eye, not only because it's June and it's the month of pride and I really wanted to help celebrate that, but I also want to do something creative and out of my comfort zone and this is the look that I ended up creating. I was a little nervous throughout the process of creating this, but I'm really obsessed with the final look and if you guys like it too, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also leave a comment down below of any looks you want to see me do in the future. Please also make sure to subscribe if you haven't joined the family already and without further ado let's jump into the video so like usual I started off with my base brows and eyelids already primed and for my shadows today I'm gonna to be going in with the Morphe and James Charles artistry palette but like usual you don't have to use the same palette as me you can always just use similar colors so I'm first gonna take flashback and just put that on my lid to set my primer so I'm first going to go in with B, which is this really pretty and vibrant yellow color and I'm first gonna start out by blending that on the inner corner part of my crease I'm then going to pick up some of the orange in this palette called 518 and I'm going to start blending that right next to the yellow that we just put down. I'm then going to pick up some of Your Kidding which is the beautiful red in this palette and I'm going to start blending that out into the outer crease. So after I have those three colors down, I'm just going to go back in with a little bit more of the orange and yellow just to make sure I bring back any of that pigmentation that I lost in the blending process. So I just want to clean out the front part of my lid real quick using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer just because I really want to make it a clean and sharp base for the shadow that I'm putting on top. After I have that all carved out to my liking, I'm then going to be going into this really pretty shadow called Illume by Cosette Cosmetics and putting that all over the tacky base. I'm then just going to blend all those edges to make sure they're smooth. For my bottom lash line, I'm first going to start off with Social Blade, which is this gorgeous vibrant green color, and I'm first going to start off by putting that in the inner corner of my bottom lash line. Next, I'm going to be picking up some of Playground and then putting that right next to the green that we just put down. Then for the last color in the rainbow, I'm going to be picking up a little bit of Escape and putting that on the very outer edge of my lower lash line. I then decided to create a small wing liner to bounce out the bottom lash line and for that I'm going to be using the NYX Super Skinny Eye Marker. I'm going to be honest, this is my first time using this pen and this is definitely a really dry pen. Like I feel like I'm kind of scraping it on my eyelid to get the color on so if you do have a different pen than this for your eyeliner I definitely recommend using that because this is making my eyes pretty irritated and watery. Gosh this hurts so much to get really close on the inner of my eye it feels like I'm kind of like scraping a popsicle stick on it or something. For my next step, I'm actually going to bump up my contour a little bit because I do have some on my face from doing my base, but I feel like it needs more for this look. So I'm going to be going in with the Pixie Natural Contour Shape and Shadow. For my blush, I'm actually still going to be using the Morphe and James Charles Artistry Palette. and I'm going to be mixing some of Pinkity Drinkity and Skip to come up with that pink color that I want for my blush. So before I put on my highlight, I'm first going to be setting all my layers of makeup with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist just to help all those layers melt together and to create a pop for my highlight. So for my highlight, I'm going to be sticking with the same palette and I'm going to be picking up a ring light and hitting all the high points of my face as well as my brow bone and inner corner. Then I'm going to top it all off with mascara and for that I'm going to be using the Pixie by Petra Double Brush Mascara. So for last, but of course not least, for my lips, I wanted to have something really natural but a little bit of color to help balance out the eyes, and so I ended up choosing the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fussy. And here is the final look. Thank you so much 
much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm actually really obsessed with how this look turned out and I encourage you guys to do something out of your comfort zone, whether it's in makeup or something else, because I honestly didn't think I was gonna like this as much as I did and I'm absolutely obsessed and it makes me really inspired for so many other looks. And so I encourage you guys to do the same because it might inspire you to do something else outside of your comfort zone. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and also leave a comment down below of any videos you wanna see me create or any other black eyeliners that are really good that won't hurt my eyes because I'm now on a new hunt and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.